Hello everyone and welcome back to Cisco Networkers Bahrain 2010. Today we have a special guest, he's Toby. Toby, can you talk about yourself? Hi, I'm, my name is Tobias Neumann. I'm working as a technical solution architect for Cisco in European markets in a consulting team all around unified communications uh, and also telepresence and other collaboration technologies. Okay, Toby, so uh, your session today was unified communication and social media, if I'm correct, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so let's start by telling our audience what does unified communication mean? So unified communication basically is all around uh, the communication between people either being in audio calls or what we know from telephony. Uh, now these days it's also video uh, enabled calls so that I can actually see the other person all the way up to doing HD video capable calls like what we call telepresence where you actually can see the other person in high definition quality. But it also involves things like collaboration architectures where you can have web sharing capabilities so you can actually uh, uh, collaborate with somebody on some documents, on some uh, PowerPoint slides. And also it includes things like presence where you can see the willingness and availability of a person to communicate. And also things like instant messaging where you can send people short text messages uh, be part of a group discussion along uh, IM and presence. So you have all these different capabilities which as a whole make up a collaborative workspace where people can interact with each other. Okay, so nowadays we know that Facebook, Twitter and those services, they are very hot. Okay, uh, a lot of people use it. How is that related to unified communication, if you can explain that? It's a very interesting topic because all these different social media things are coming mostly from a consumer perspective. Okay. So you have consumers where, where everything started. So if you look at Facebook and those things, it pretty much started from the consumer. So now the big question for the enterprise is, what does that mean to how you communicate within the enterprise? Are okay. there uh, certain things that people do on these social network platforms that also apply to an enterprise environment. That's one area. The other area that's also quite interesting is how can you make use of these technologies in a more like business to consumer kind of environment. Uh -huh. Like what we have here in our social media center which is Cisco talking to the yes, that, that, that's social one media. example. One, another example is that a lot of companies these days are actually monitoring Twitter feeds. So if you are launching a new product, and one example that was quite interesting was when Apple launched the iPad in San Francisco. Okay. I mean, uh, Steve Jobs was on stage five minutes into his presentation, 10 minutes into his presentation, and when, when you're monitoring Twitter, you could see all these feedbacks from potential customers, people uh -huh. that are interested. And so a company that launches a product obviously can monitor these news feeds and uh -huh. things that are happening in the social community and gain some almost real-time feedback of what they are pushing into the market space. Uh -huh. Okay, that is really interesting. So let's say an organization, for example, they can build uh, their own Facebook, right? Is that is that correct? Yes. I mean, what, one of the things that we are working on in Cisco is a product called Quad, okay. which is a, an enterprise social platform where we actually provide functionality that is similar to what you get on Facebook, to have blogs, you have wiki pages, you have um, uh, discussion forums, and you have all the people in the enterprise that can participate in that. Okay. So, And also, and on that note, it also has then the ability to integrate with some of the public services. Okay. So whatever you do in that enterprise collaboration uh, environment, if you change your state, you say, I'm working on a document XYZ, that status can be made available as well if your security policies allow that you have a status change on Facebook or Twitter. Mm -hmm. So if somebody external is following your, your, your postings on Facebook, he will see that as well. Uh -huh. And the, the funny thing is these days with that social networking platforms, some of them are actually quite consumer oriented. But I was actually in customer meetings where by the moment I walked out of the meeting and got back to my PC, I already had invites from people on LinkedIn, on Facebook, like oh, wow. customers that you saw for the first time that said, okay, I want to stay connected with that person and I kind of, you start a, a kind of business relationship through these kind of means in, or continue to have a business relationship through these kind of social network platforms. Okay, after your interview, you should give me your Twitter account so I can follow you. 
So Toby, I know you have a busy schedule. Thank you for your time. If you have any word for our audience, you can tell them about social media and fact communication. The, the one thing that's quite important is when you have all these social media platform components like uh, the, the, the discussion forums, the wikis, the blogs. Now for us, it's very important that you have all these different features enabled with the latest in terms of communication. So what I said in the beginning about unified communications, being video, being presence, being instant messaging, uh, being audio calls, so that from that collaboration platform, you should have access to all these different tools. If I Ladies see somebody, I can actually um, communicate with that person. And the other very important thing to us is also the fact that a social uh, networking platform also has to be an open platform. So uh -huh. yes, we have products out of our Cisco portfolio and we are happy if customers are actually interested in this product. But for us, it's uh, also a very important thing to say social networking platforms have to be open. And if a customer decides there are some components that I want to integrate, there have to be the open APIs and ways and means so that you can match all of these things up and actually bring them together for the best benefits of what that particular customer wants to achieve. Okay, thank you very much, Toby. Thank very you very welcome. much, your audience, you and me. see you later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.